Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniel and this is Richie. Hello. And today we're off to Leicester Comic Con and Toy Fair, which is a very small local Comic Con, literally down the road from us. But we thought, since we're going anyway, we might, might as well take you guys with us, yeah. see what it's about. Not we, very far, is it? Not really at all. Um, there's no celebrity guests whatsoever, but there are some attractions and some stalls full of toys, I assume, with it being a Toy Fair. So we thought, why not take you and have a look around? There's also cosplayers as well, so we'll see what Leicester's got to offer. Yes. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> So we're now at the event, um, we've walked around a few times, we've both spent our money and we've got a few clips as you would have seen. There's not too much to actually film but I managed to get a few clips, hopefully it's a good video. We'll show you what we bought when we get home but yeah, not too bad. So we're back home now, we're just about to show you what we got. Did you have fun? Yeah, it wasn't too bad for a small local event thing. <laughs> <laughs> very busy though, a lot of people inside and it was very fucking what... Lot, uh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> it was very busy though and it was very warm in there. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was melting and couldn't really see a lot because a lot of people in the way. But it Reminded me of LFCC uh, down south. Quite busy, quite rammed, not much organisation inside, everyone free for Yeah, you. pretty much, that's what it was, wasn't it? Mm. But yeah, I've never been to LFCC, not yet. One day. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> we yeah. alone. <laughs> yeah, need money first. But yeah, we're going to show you everything that we bought and then we're going to end the video. So this is everything I bought, surprise, surprise. I've been to a Comic Con and I've got Funko Pops, that's all I bought. I bought three Funko Pops. The first of which is this Arrow one of Deathstroke Unmasked. 
which was £12, as you can say. I do actually have the one with the mask on. Um, but yeah, always wanted this one. And I was very happy to have found it. Um, the box is a bit beat up, but shit happens. There's the back, if you want to see it. I do have um, the Arrow, I have Black Canary, I have Deathstroke. I don't have the rest, but hopefully someday. But yeah, not bad for 12 quid. The next one I got was the Captain Cold from The Flash, which was £14, as you can see. This one I've seen several times at Comic-Cons, and I've always been like, oh, I really want it, I really want it. I ain't getting it. But for some reason, I just bought it this time. I do have the Flash and I have the Reverse Flash. I don't have any of the others, but I do have quite a big Flash collection. For some reason, they're not on the back of this box. I don't know why. But yeah, I'm very happy with this one. And the last one is a completely new edition. This is Negan from The Walking Dead, which, as you can see, was £28. This one I only got because Negan is my favourite Walking Dead character. It's the only Walking Dead from K-pop I have, probably the only one I'll ever get. I love the blood splatter and I'm just very happy with this. Loved it so much. I did actually see a girl picking it up and I was like, you can get your fucking hands off. So as soon as she put it down, I was like, no, mine. Picking it up, I'm having it. But yeah, this was a great purchase and I'm very happy with them. So yeah, Negan from The Walking Dead, Captain Cold from The Flash and Deathstroke Unmasked from Arrow. I didn't get too much, um, but I spent my entire budget. Uh, both of these items came from the same seller. They done me a special deal. Um, the Funko Pop plus the bust for 40 quid. Uh, the Funko Pop would have been 10 quid and the bust 40 pound on its own. But the Funko Pop I got was a discontinued Star Trek Next Generation Wharf uh, issue 191. Um, they're all difficult to come by now because they're discontinued, uh, worth quite a bit on eBay, but um, thought better get it. Um, I, this is the first of the next generation range. I don't have any of the others at the moment, but I'm keeping an eye out. But that is Wharf. Sorry to butt in, but I do have one of those. <laughs> <sighs> I have the Anatroy. Anyway, moving back <laughs> onto my purchases. Um, my gentle giant bust is willow from once more with feeling now i had to get it brand new in box box is a bit damaged but the bust inside is brand new unopened had a check and it looks absolutely perfect um this is super rare difficult to come by so for a joint price of 40 quid it was a no-brainer but it's part one of part two i don't have a tara one at the moment um, but that goes for about between 100 to 300 quid online. So I highly doubt I'm going to get it, but I've got part one, so I'm absolutely over the moon. This is what the uh, unboxing of the Willow Bust is going to be. I've already taken it out of the polystyrene. As you can see, Still all sealed, certificate of authenticity. I think this is 529 of 2,500. So let's open it the right way. Which isn't that way, it's this way. And there she is in all her glory. Well, actually Willow, not glory, but the bust. All the polystyrene and plastic will be taken off and put in display with my Buffy collection. Not Daniel's because he doesn't have any. <laughs> I've actually never seen it. Not yet. Mm -hmm. So there we go that's it for this video. Rich is putting his bust away so he won't be in this part but thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more vlogs like this in the future. The next one's probably going to be in June which will be MCon and then we've got Leicester Horrorcon about two weeks later so lots of content coming your way. So yeah, stay tuned and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. Bye.